Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about uh, clutches types. So already in module one, I clearly explained we have different types of clutches, and uh, these different types will be using for the different applications, uh, starting from the automobile, and uh, you can take uh, some uh, machines uh, in. Um, uh, some uh, industries mechanical related industries where shaft is involved so and all those things and even when we discuss the principle of the clutches where uh, uh, we discussed so the friction between two surfaces we call it as a clutches we discussed so what kind of friction materials are recommended and uh, different types of uh, you know like uh, uh, friction materials and uh, the properties of all those things we'll be discussing in this video and before watching this video like uh, uh, you better uh, do watch uh, video one of introduction to the clutches so it, it will be easy for you people to understand better so first uh, let me start with uh, the process flow chart of uh, any clutch plate so let me take any clutch plate so how the clutch plate is made so that is different you can able to see this the clutch plates here I have uh, gone with uh, like uh, totally three uh, different uh, different materials so first one is the sheet metal based clutch plate and the second one is the aluminium based clutch plate and third one is uh, the friction ring based uh, clutch plate so if i speak about the the sheet metal based clutch plate so like uh, the raw material uh, sheet metal means any kind of sheet metals is it, it can be a stainless steel it can be uh, any kind of alloys of aluminium or like uh, they, i mean we have many sheet metals so among that whatever material is uh, suitable for uh, the requirements so then we can recommend that one so that is why here i didn't specify the raw material name because all the sheet metals are mostly recommended for uh, making the clutch plates so once the raw material is chosen like we will be going with the blanking process and uh, after the blanking process we will be going with the deburring process so this blanking and deburring is basically about uh, we need to make sure that we are removing the uh, the dirt the pollutants the oiliness and even some cases where the luster and all those things will be there and along with that some ups and downs will be there due to the uh, uh, shifting and other things will be there so all those things i will be removing and even if uh, any kind of corrosion and other things are means all those things i'll be doing so blanking and deburring is something like uh, uh, removing uh, the dirt excess and uh, you know pollutants and other things from the materials and uh, afterwards after deburring i'll be going with the straightening process straightening process like uh, as i said since it is having very light thickness we need to straight it of course we cannot straight it manually by with the help of some uh, heavy loaded uh, punching uh, means machines so we will be straightening and afterwards we will be going with the pass pitting and adhesive coating so pass pitting and adhesive coating to make sure that uh, it is properly fixed with uh, the material uh, i mean the base material then moving to the second one that is the aluminium based clutch plate so aluminium based means like uh, usually aluminium alloys like i will be very specific with the aluminium metal alone so instead of going with all the stainless steel and different kinds of material like aluminium means if that is if that is the case means what kind of uh, uh, like a process is recommended means you can able to see like uh, i'll be taking a raw material of aluminium with pressure die casting so this is uh, you can able to see here i'll be very specific with uh, uh, the casting method that is the pressure die casting method afterwards i'll be going with uh, uh, fettling uh, trimming and uh, short uh, uh, blasting so these are all the different process where i make sure that uh, it is uh, uh, like uh, I'm just fulfilling all the requirements of the clutch plates and afterwards I'll be going with the alluding method and drying and adhesive coating so all these things like what is trimming what is alloding process and short blasting all these things we'll be discussing in detail when solving the problems and next one is the thing but the friction ring of materials so this is like basically like raw material where I'll be going with the mixing and rolling and finally I'll be getting the ring cutting so so all these three process together uh, if i want to say means we can call and uh, once it is done means like uh, by using any of these method means finally what i'll be doing so i'll be going with first the pasting once the, uh, like uh, what is that uh, uh, the uh, base clutch material is made means i'll be going with the pasting with the uh, the made uh, what is that the clutch material with the, the base material and afterwards molding then deburring grinding brushing inspection packing and dispatch so this is the process or methodology we will be following usually in the industry for making of the clutch plate and uh, moving to the clutch fri uh, friction disc so the basic disc till now we were talking about no so usually uh, it, i mean uh, this is made of three different material that is the cork rubber and the paper base so cork based clutch is made up of heat resistant uh, non-asbestos cork and fibers and the grooves are cut into friction materials uh, 
uh, to help or provide cooling and releasing a clutch disc. So in four wheeler clutches, the rivets are used to hold the friction material to both the sides of the metal body of the disc. And the cork sheets are made from uh, natural uh, agglomerated cork products in different thickness and used in different applications uh, such as clutch facing uh, cork sheet components which is highly compressible uh, friction product. And uh, rubber based friction material consists of different variant of uh, rubber, car, chemicals and the resin. And uh, these are like usually like blended together in different ratio to make uh, the formulation for a different application to give the best performance. And moving to the next one, the paper based uh, clutch friction disc. And it consists of various specific ingredients such as uh, cellulose fiber, synthetic fiber, cotton fibers, solid lubricant and friction modifiers molded together. Cellulose is used to prolong life of the clutch and provides more strength. So here uh, the point to be remembered is uh, the cellulose. So if I am looking for any clutch uh, a product uh, which uh, is giving more life mean then cellulose is the uh, like highly recommended material. And uh, paper clutch friction disc has more life than cork based uh, friction material. So if I have an option of selecting uh, you know like a two or three different material mean then even I can go with the uh, uh, the paper clutch in case the cork is provided for the base friction material and the paper clutch friction disc has more life than the cork uh, like a cork uh, base friction materials uh, due to the many characteristics of a paper clutch friction disc we will see what and all day so compared to the cork uh, like friction materials uh, the paper clutch friction materials are having more uh, heat resistant property because uh, uh, when we speak about the clutches like particularly during engagement and disengagement uh, like it's uh, basically all about friction. So there are more chances like uh, the temperature uh, uh, rising and all other uh, problems will be there. So how to overcome all those things we should provide the proper uh, material which is having a, a more heat resistant property. So paper clutch friction disc is something which is providing the same. And uh, uh, this paper clutch friction disc uh, provides low wear and tear characteristics compared to any other material and which is high uh, uh, which is having high endurance and uh, and similarly high friction coefficient and uh, stable friction characteristics you can able to see like all these pro characteristics uh, uh, which is um, uh, very uh, uh, what is that we can say like uh, 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 for the uh, reliability of the clutch product or like even we speak about uh, the efficiency and high endurance and all those things like uh, this paper clutch friction disc uh, is providing and moving to the next one, uh, the types of uh, clutches. So clutch is basically a mechanical device and which is used to connect or disconnect the source of power from the remaining parts. Uh, so the power transmission system uh, at the will of the operator. And the flow of the mechanical power is controlled by the uh, clutches. So mainly we can classify clutches into two types. Uh, that is positive clutches and uh, friction clutches. First, we will discuss what is positive clutch. So, in this type of clutch, the engaging clutch surfaces interlock to produce a rigid joint. They are suitable for situations requiring simple and rapid disconnection, although they must be connected while shafts are stationary and unloaded. The engaging surfaces are usually of jaw type. The jaws, uh, the jaws may be square jaw type or spiral jaw type, and they are designed empirically by considering compressive strength of your material used. And the merits of the positive clutches are like uh, no heat generated, uh, like a compact and low cost, simple and no slip. So these are all the some of the merits of the positive clutches and you can able to see like uh, uh, the different sketches for the square uh, jaw clutch and the spiral jaw clutch. We can able to see square jaw clutch means you can able to see the jaw is, uh, is, is in a square shape and uh, jaw, jaw clutch means you can able to see the sawtooth uh, shape. We can able to see it here. And moving to the next one, friction clutches. Friction clutches work on the basis of the frictional forces developed between the two or more surfaces in contact. Friction clutches are usually over the jaw clutches due to their better performance. And there is a slip in friction clutch. The merits are uh, the friction surfaces can slip during engagement, which enables the driver to pick up and accelerate the load within minimum shock. They can be used at high engagement speed since they do not have jaw or teeth and a smooth engagement due to the gradual increase in normal force and major types we will discuss in the upcoming video thank you